Hey guys, we're going to read a book called Leap, and I think that there are a lot of rhyming words in here, words that sound the same at the end. All right, so this book is written by John Arno Lawson and illustrated by Jose Bissalion. All right. A flea asleep in the deep green moss Nettled by midges, wakes up cross. He starts to fidget and turn and toss. Lever legs twitch to leap into the path of a little grasshopper. And that sets her jumping. No one can stop her. I hear a lot of rhyming words. Glide, land, leap and glide. Tilting a little from side to side down and up to leap and away onto a bunny down where the flowers and the grass smell sunny bug on her head suddenly haunches taut and tight to leap land twist and spin the bunny bounds out as the clouds roll in a dog gets a whiff and barks at the wind, bouncing, bouncing, springing and lunging. Down the bank, that dog goes plunging, gamble, lurch to leap, crash into the lake, scaring the lake fish wide awake. They break the surface with a flip-flop shake. Tails go smack, silvery skin, slippery slap, flashing fins. Under again, then back to the top to leap and splash right back down to knock off a bullfrog's lily pad crown. The pond prince shows his inflatable frown, trudgingly lightly, croaking and nervous over the top of a, the rippling surface, webbed feet flatten. There's his feet. Web feet flatten, cheeks refatten, legs stretch long to leap. High onto the bank, he scrambled up and down he sat he sank, next to the nose of a high strung horse, standing to drink after running her course. The horse astounded can't make sense of the frog and draws back eyes immense, rearing tail to Leap straight up and over the fence where the dog sits crouching, ready and tense. Here's the dog. Happy barks meet startled snorts as he goes leaping after the leaping horse. West, east, south, and north, around in circles, back and forth. On all fours, finally, bowing low to leap. But she can't keep up. The deep green moss is a little too deep and a little too soft. There are too many ridges and bridges to cross. She stops to pant and chew at a bird. The flea sees his chance to leap on her. They both lie down and turn and toss and hunker down to sleep. So no more leaping. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.